What's up? As you saw, Drake unboxed the new LD Maui 44 G2s. We got all the accessories. LD sent these out so that we can use them and compare them to all the different speakers out there. I'm rushing, we're trying to get out of here, but we're loading all this up. Those casters are really nice though. Those are real nice. We had a geek today. We're here at Luna Trail. This this property is massive. We just drove like I want to say that was that was probably three miles that we drove in on the property, and we passed another wedding venue on the way in, and then this is their main wedding venue and their new ceremony venue. Craziness. We're gonna go survey, even though I've already looked at all this before. So they got like a 3D view online, so you can view it. That's how you know it's a legit venue. <laughs> All right, so this is the reception space. On a scale of one to 10, the Echo is about a, I'd give it an eight, if not a nine. So we are, we are told we are setting up right there. It's not a lot of space, but we'll work with it. They have all this space over here for their head table. We're actually gonna load in right here. These doors are gonna completely swing open and we can quickly roll everything in that we need and then head up to the ceremony site to load in on that. Before we get further into the video, I want to thank my friends over at Ridge Wallet for sponsoring today's video. The Ridge Wallet is a super modern, slim design wallet. This thing is amazing. It holds up to 12 cards, plenty of space for all your cards and your business cards. You got a cash strap on top to hold all that good old cash from the tips you get from all the song requests. I've personally been using a Ridge Wallet for the last three years. I love this wallet. It's amazing. Replace that big, bulky leather wallet I used to have. Um, it's amazing. You guys should go check it out yourself. They have all kinds of awesome designs, including this awesome carbon fiber one right here. Go check them out. Link will be in the description down below, and you can save 10% with the code DJRickWeb. Thanks to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring today's video, and let's get back to the gig log. All right, so we're gonna get set up. Uh, we have, of course, the brand new Maui 44 G2s. Let me show you guys a few things with those while wow, they're all packaged up. Um, well, we'll set up one and then I'll have Drake do a little film so we can show you guys how they all set up and everything. First off, just gotta say on a build quality standpoint, so far, caster plates are amazing. They're really good, but we're gonna get set up. So we've assembled the first one. I wanna just point out, <laughs> not the best decision in the world that we brought these speakers and we did not bring backup speakers. Well, no, we did not. We left the PRXs at home. We literally said we're just using these tonight. So, um, first off, that is massive. Drake, Drake is six foot five, and the high compression drivers clear up. So, one of the cool things about these speakers, 15 inch sub, you got mid bass drivers right through here. Then you got mid high, and then they have dedicated high compression horn drivers up top. In comparison, the Bose was just all full range drivers, well, mid to high end drivers, all the way up with a 10 by 18 sub on the bottom. All wood construction. Um, we'll show you how these all go together, but this thing is stout. There's a grill on the backside too. This is new. Um, and we'll show you the ports and everything on the back on the other one um, and how this all goes together. But this is very, very, very clean looking. I love it. Um, We'll get into the bags. Bags are extremely well padded. That is some thick padding right there. Um, and then the bag for the top also has good padding and it has foam to protect the pins. And the caster plate here, this thing is uh, it's pretty damn sturdy. It's got like, I don't know if it's plastic or if it's wood coated with like the truck liner, but it's dope. So this is how the whole package comes together. Um, so uh, once it's all assembled, so this is your tops. This is pretty light, maybe like 15 point pounds-ish. Um, I wouldn't even say it's 20, I'd say like 15. The cover on top of the sub, it has this double Velcro setup. So you can Velcro over the handles or you can Velcro it up so you can still access your handles, which is nice. Um, this just slips off. Again, it's very well padded. And then you have the beautiful 15 inch sub and it's glory. 
Um, the caster plate goes on the back side, so you just pull it into place wherever you're going to put it. On the other side, we're going to go right down here. So you just kind of tilt it up, and then that allows you to roll it back. That's it. Then if Drake comes around here, we'll turn it so we can look. So this is the caster plate. I um, highly recommend you get this because these subs are a little bit on the heavy side. Um, so it just undoes like any road case you would have. Two clips, caster plate comes off the back. Hold out the um, we haven't really done anything. You can see we still have the protecting film on the back here. That was a very satisfying sound. Um, so we have a cardioid mode apparently. Cardioid off, we have two volume knobs. We have our left and right in, our left and right throughputs, and a sub out. And I believe the sub out is so that you can mate right here with the cardioid and code cardioid off. So you could pump some pretty insane bass for this. Industry standard power con in down below, big on switch. Hard to miss that. Um, yeah, nice handles on the side. So we're gonna move this back to where it needs to go. Come on right down there. Um, this is the power con cable for it. But if we move on to the bag with our two top segments. So there's two of them. Uh, the easiest way to tell them apart is the LD goes on the top. Um, so we pull out the mid component right here. It's got nice handles on either side to pick it up with. But we have this foam cap right here that pops off. It is a little tight. Makes a nice little pop sound. But you have your four solid steel. These look like stainless steel pins that are gonna hold it in place. And like I said, there's handles here on either side to make it easy to can't carry around. So it's pretty simple. There's a, there's a magnetic component that holds them together, but there's a, the pin right here, so these four pins just go in, and then literally just slides right in on. So the top is very similar. There's holds, but there's handles. This end will pop off, and we just take it and slide it on. And we're set up just like that. This thing in comparison to like the bows has a lot of like aggression to it in my opinion. Like this thing looks like it means business. So we're gonna find out here very shortly. Um, we're gonna go back to time lapse and finish setting up everything. We'll go through the menus and whatnot. Um, but yeah, first met with LD Maui 44 G2s. Um, you probably shouldn't put them this close together. This is pretty close for pitching and sub. But uh, this is the room we're working with. Oh, I, we didn't film at all when we turned on the speakers. I wish, I wish we we had uh, been filming when we turned on the speakers for the first time because my face and Drake's face was like, what are these? We'll, we'll get some audio clips when we come back, but we're gonna go do the ceremony right now. And we just realized, shout out LD Systems, because every speaker we're using today is LD Systems. We have two Maui five goes, one for cocktail, one for ceremony. And we have main 44 G2s. Shout out OD Systems for being a, a dope speaker company. I don't think we filmed anything, but we're up here at the ceremony location. So we have uh, two people singing, a guitar, and we're doing a ceremony live stream for this wedding. So let me show you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes back here on the ceremony side for the live streaming. And uh, so we're running off of my Samsung Galaxy S um, Plus or S whatever it is. This is the newest one, S21 Plus or whatever. We're hooked into the venue's Wi-Fi because I have literally zero service. Me and Drake have no service out here. But uh, their Wi-Fi is very good, very stable, and we're set up basically doing a YouTube unlisted live stream for all of the people to watch. I think they have like 150 people that are gonna be joining in to watch it. So that's all set up, good to go. Um, I am running power to my phone, so that way it stays nice and charged the whole entire time. But we're also recording it. So we got a Canon G7X Mark uh, III up here that's gonna be recording all of the ceremony. So that way we can do a HD quality one afterwards. Cause you know, live stream buffers and sometimes it's 720, 480. So it's not reliable to get a nice clean video from after the fact. So we record it with Canon G7X, just like the one you're watching right now. So that way we can sync the audio to it after the fact and upload it. And we're uh, capturing all the audio on the, um, Zoom H6 right here. So these are my go-to recorders. I have these set up on my desk and everything for all my mics and our live stream, our podcast all runs through Zoom H6s. So we're set up there. We are doing a very interesting setup here to accomplish two microphones, a guitar input, 
two lapels and a media input here off the computer for the music. Um, so we brought two of our ceremony rigs. If you guys have seen these before, these basically are two of our Audio Technica 3004 gens with a battery powered backup system built into each one. And then we're linking all that out in a very interesting way to two different Yamaha MG06 FX mixers. So this one is the master. It's what brings in our two lapels. It brings in the audio from our uh, laptop as well. So we have all the main stuff. And then coming in to our input 3.4 is the stereo output of this Yamaha board. So that's how it's set up. Basically on this board we have the guitar and we have the two singing microphones. So that way this controls basically everything related to that. This controls everything related to the actual ceremony. And then of course all the audio is coming out to the uh, LD systems, Maui 5 Go. Love these speakers. And then we brought a facade up here because even if we did scrim this table out, um, this is like a monstrosity of cabling and mics and everything. So it just looks a lot cleaner to have the facade up here to cover everything. Yeah, prelude starts at 2.30 and uh, we'll get going after that. Pro tip, we do that basically that live stream right there. I don't really ever touch that camera, my phone, the rest of this event. I started it and then the way we send them out is we do a link. So if you guys go watch how I do ceremony live streams, um, this is how I do it. Uh, my YouTube channel thankfully has enough subscribers that I can do live streaming from my phone. If you don't have enough subscribers, you can't necessarily do that, but there are other sources out there. So we start it and then I have a link and then what I do is I schedule emails in Gmail. So what we do is we have a form here. Well, this is the output of the form. If I open it up, we give the clients a Google form and it's very simple. It has all the details that, and they share it with their guests and their guests put in their email. And then they go here to the responses and we get all the emails. Actually, it looks like we have more more emails now than what we did before so i'm gonna have to go through and update that and then uh, basically that ex exports to a google sheet copy all those blind carbon copy everybody in a scheduled email that goes out when prelude starts and goes out when the wedding starts and then there's a thank you message that goes out after the fact as well so that's how all that works on the back end um it's super simple that's how we've learned to do it for the last over a year now doing these ceremony live streams and we got one next year too anyways we're gonna be waiting until ceremony All right guys, we're all set up for the reception. Cocktail's going on here, let me give you a little peek. LD in the corner. And here we have the reception. We went ahead and put all of the uh, both lighting S4 up lights around the room. Down there they are, we're doing white all night. Of course we have the turntable booth, Rain 12's S9, but the star of the show today, LD Systems Maui 44 G2s. I can tell you right now, these speakers are very, very, very impressive. And they should be, they cost three grand a piece, basically with all the attachments you're gonna need. Um, so shout out LD Systems for sending them over, and I'm going to be rocking the crap out of these. Um, these 15 inch subs, I'm not gonna quote it, but I'm pretty sure these hit harder than the PRX subs. And this speaker, we measured it. We were doing 120 decibels, like standing about 10 feet away, and uh, we hadn't hit limit yet, so. More testing to come on these speakers when we get to a bigger room, but they sound awesome. They sound crystal clear. And this right here is what I wanted for a column right speaker. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends. Good evening, good evening. I want to welcome you guys to the reception portion of Brianna and JJ's wedding today. Can someone please make some noise for our real last thing here? We have some special people we're about to introduce into the wedding reception. So if everyone could direct their attention over to the doors, we're going to introduce our first group in the wedding party, and that is Morgan and Andrew. Yeah. Let's put our hands together for Kelly and Chad. Yeah. 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 
Give it up for Rachel and Rob. Let me hear some big noise for our matron of honor page and our best name, C. Ladies and gentlemen, we've introduced our whole entire wedding party. I can kindly ask everyone to rise from your seats. Rise from your seats. Get on up. I need you to scream. I need you to shout. I need you to make as much noise as you can. So, Mr. and Mrs. Meadows!
some old school stuff here. We're trying to get out of here as fast as we can. We're gonna see how long it takes. Um, I'm guessing like 20 minutes. We just got a head start a little bit, but we shall see. Oh, LD. Damn. So we had like maybe a four sec, four, three, four minute head start. And then we started recording here and the recording was 20 minutes and 56 seconds. Only thing we forgot, cocktail. And that right there is how you break down fast as F. With two people. Now all we gotta do is cruise up to where the ceremony is, pick up all of our ceremony gear, and we're good to go. It's already, um, it's already broken down. We got the slot for the rock and roller, and then we're good to go.